Hey guys, um, in my last video I said I was going to do uh, a DNS masking and DNS crypting, uh, so I thought I would bring uh, Kleptos in with me and uh, we'll be able to talk about it and how to set it up on an Arch system. So, Kleptos, do you have any information on this? Yeah, this is great uh, because for the last few years I've been really looking to sort of uh, go full board with encryption and with, you know, sort of, um, you know, making sure that everything I do isn't just publicly available. And to start with DNS is really to start with the sort of foundation of the internet. And so as it is, you know, all your DNS queries and all the different communications between the client and the server are all just, you know, wide open plain text. And who wants that? You know, especially you know when you're when you're really trying to worry about privacy and security and so DNS script is great um, also can you know conceived by the open DNS project but those guys log a lot but uh, there are other options that we'll get into later but this is great uh, so that you know it's pretty easy to set up service on your Linux box to where all of your encryptions between the client and server uh, um, are encrypted which is very nice and it's easy to set up easy started and going and then we'll get to the whole DNS mass side of things and so you cache things um, but this is great um, because uh, of course you don't have to deal with any man in the middle attacks or anybody seeing exactly what you're looking up and eventually when you move over to like Tor or VPNs uh, everything will be encrypted which will be nice yeah so uh, we'll start with the installation process personally I like to do install DNS mask and DNS crypt at the same time. So I'll, I'll just open up a terminal here. Okay, so we just opened up a terminal. Uh, so if you're using Arch Linux, you would just do sudo pacman s DNS crypt proxy and then DNS mask for the mask one. Yeah, and what's great about that is that it masks, uh, um, it sort of caches your DNS queries. And so that way, you know, most people go to the same 100 sites every day. And so you don't need to be hammering the DNS servers, you know, going to a porn hub, you know, every five minutes uh, and sort of, you know, curing that. And so that way that information is ca cached and it keeps it, you know, for a while. And so that way you don't have to worry about eventually your, you know, encryption being decrypted because you're just overdoing it. And so they work together in harmony. It's really nice. So with DNS script, it's uh, pretty much a DNS traffic uh, that just encrypts it so that there's no spoofing or man-in-the-middle attacks, which uh, sounds like they've been on the rise. So it's a good thing that you should have this on your box uh, for sure. So in, I like to do DNS crypt first. So if we move down uh, to uh, the installation and then you want your um, name server uh, your resolve.conf just to have your loopback address. So it would be 127.0.0.1. And then that's all you really need to do for DNS crypt pretty much. Uh, um, and then you just start it like system or sudo systemctl D enable DNS crypt dot dash proxy dot service. And that will start the daemon for that. Yeah, and sometimes, um, uh, sometimes uh, DNS crypt will start before DNS mask, and it causes problems. And so, every now and then, you have to sort of add a little thing in there saying that uh, you start DNS mask before DNS crypt, and so that way the the port doesn't get taken. But otherwise, they work very nicely together. Yeah. Plus, if you're not using DNS mask, you can also use something called Unbound. Um, which is similar, but uh, personally, I rather mask my DNS. So, as you see in the example uh, config for DNS mask, you would go to your Etsy slash dnsmask.conf, and then you would uh, just type in no dash resolve, and then your server, 
would be point two, and then uh, where you see the number file down here, uh, it would be fifth. Uh, it would be just the port, and then your listening address would be this, and then that's all you really have to do for a DNS mask. Now the benefit of DNS crypt is not only because your you know your DNS queries are encrypted, but also you can pick who you want to resolve that information. And so you uh, go check out Open Nick. Um, those guys are great. They have a lot of DNS servers that do not log, um, and also uh, you do get access to domains and stuff that you normally won't have access to, like the .dot bit domains and other domains. Um, uh, that uh, not demands but whatever the hell they're called tilds um but that that you normally won't get access to but also you know you're pointing your dns uh, there as opposed to uh, open dns and of course they do log and they do profile you which is nice and it's uh it's uh and if you go into the the uh, system d settings you just add a dash r and i like to use uh, open turtles they're great Open Turtles? I don't think I've heard of that one. Yeah, Open Turtles is actually developing a software called um, DNS Chain, which is uh, kind of like uh, replacing, or, or sort of, like, I guess, uh, securing HTTPS. And so they're a great service, and they're a great group that really cares about privacy. And really when it comes down to it, you know, in, in this day and age of, you know, people going to Starfox, <clears throat> Starbucks, and... Uh, you know, going online and some guy sniffing your traffic, you really do want to make sure that everything you do is secure. Uh, whether or not you're using DNS crypt or using it with a VPN or on tour or whatever have you, you want to make sure that when you're on that public Wi-Fi hotspot, you want to make sure that everything you do is encrypted. And uh, there's just one more thing with the DNS mask. Uh, most distributions out there use Network Manager as their default. So if you're using DNS mask, you want to go into the Etsy slash network manager dash network manager dot conf and then just make sure that you put in brackets main plugin key file and then DNS mask. And then that's all you really have to do. Uh, and then you just start DNS mask the same way. Pseudo system CTL enabled DNS mask. Go. Yeah, and, and another benefit of this is, uh, you know, having not to worry about censorship. You know, let's just say that one day one of your favorite Linux sites is deemed a terrorist hotspot. <laughs> yeah, it is a, a terrorist rag, and so you can't go to linuxjournal.com anymore. Well, you know, if, if you're not using your ISP's DNS server, then you can go to whatever website you want to, and it won't be blocked, which is very nice. Yep, so that is really it about setting up a DNS encryption. It is pretty straightforward process. I, I think uh, uh, you know, a video should have been made because it's you know pretty straightforward, but you know, some people are readers and other people are, you know, like to see it visually, so but that's all we have uh, for this video, guys. Uh, leave comments if you have any questions about how to set this up or any ideas in the future. I am thinking about doing a tour tutorial. Uh, so uh, if you guys are interested in that, let me know. And uh, we will see you guys next video.